going on this NTP backstage access. I'm your girl Marlene Massasol. I'm your boy Prestige. Today we got with us. Bam! <laughs> Uncle, Uncle P. Uncle P, what up, though? That's right. Uh, DJ, so uh, yeah. welcome to the NGP yeah. backstage yeah. yeah. access for yeah. yeah. this thing. Good. We are in here, man. Yes, bro. sir. Finally. Finally. Right. Hey. Right. Hey. Right. 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 Watching videos seem like years and shit. <laughs> so, man, oh, where do we start? Because, like, for real, for real, like, Pontiac Native. Yeah. You've been doing your thing. Yeah. Got the bullfrog going on, yeah. beat battles, just a whole bunch of stuff just, you know, just putting on for the city, putting on for your brand, like, currently in all of this, like, what's going on with you? What's going on currently? Mm -hmm. um, right now we're gearing up for the first official battle for Michigan Beat Battle League. Um, that's going on at Dime. Basically, it's an extension of what I've been doing with the beat battles for like the last 10 years almost. Um, back when Red Bull was coming through town with the big tunes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, they used to take a uh, top guy from our battle and enter it into their competition. So, it, it's been a platform that we've been keeping alive for the producers. You know, so we we taking it to another level and... Um, Putting the league aspect of it, you know, kind of taking a little bit away from the uh, rap battle mm -hmm. aspect mm -hmm. type of thing. So, you know, if you haven't experienced a beat battle, mm -hmm. it's something real new for hip hop, mm -hmm. you know. Um, the beats, the music is a lot of what drives all of this. So, when you see two hot producers going head to head, track for track you know it's a certain energy in the room that you know you don't necessarily get from somebody spitting on the mic and no mm -hmm. disrespect to that mm -hmm. you know but the dj done got his shine the artist the mc done got his shine you know let's let the producer have a day too right you know right. let's go ahead and get hey, it in. so anybody looking to be part of that you know in the future how do they uh, get involved with the end of the beat battle um, if you want to get involved with involved with the beat battle, holler at me, um, Uncle P at DetroitRap.com. That's the email. Mm -hmm. um, check out the Instagram um, beat dot battle. Mm -hmm. You know that's the Instagram for Michigan Beat Battle League. We hold events every last Saturday of the month at Dime. That's the Detroit Institute of Music Education. It's downstairs in the basement. They got a wonderful venue down there that they have for the students. Um, there is a bar too, so even though it is in a school, it is in a bar. You can get drinks, you know. Have a good time, you know. Anything you can do in the club, pretty much, we uh, do it down there too. And they got a nice sound system for yeah, them as yeah. well, so. Yeah. They've been a good host for us. Yeah. That's dope. Wow. So, man, like, you, you've been part of music, you've been part of hip hop for so long. Can you tell us how you like got involved? Like, mm -hmm. what inspired you? Man, you know, um, go back, go right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, I, I I come back from like, you know, one of the first, I guess, popular hip hop records. You know, Sugar Hill Gang. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my age then it is just the kind of music that you know grabbed me. You know, the message, you know, records like that. You know, I was hearing my mom's music and all that stuff, but, you know, that was some of the first rap, hip-hop stuff off the streets of New York. So, I mean, I, I just gravitated towards it. And, you know, it was an amazing time, you know, to grow up. Because I can really say I was there at the start of a genre, mm -hmm. you know, of music at mm -hmm. the beginning of that, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. that that's a blessing all yeah. in itself. I, mm -hmm. I've seen the whole business of it evolve, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's just crazy where it's been, you know, where it's going, mm -hmm. you know, and it's the wild, wild west with it right now, so. <laughs> and, I, and I'm glad you said that because I want to segue, mm -hmm. you know, just seeing it from the beginning, and just on to you know where we at now in 2018. How would you describe the current state of hip hop? Mm. I mean, wow. That's from, I mean, from what point of view? You know, yeah, I'm a yeah. business person, yeah. so 
are you asking me from you know the artist perspective or where do I see the industry? You know, being different from the, I, I'm hey, sorry. Wait, he, I'm, he, I'm he, sorry. Hey, wait, 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 wait,
But if you had your hustle on mm -hmm. and you was about your game mm -hmm. and, and you were smart and you really learned mm -hmm. instead of being out here faking it and yeah. just, just hearing terms <laughs> and just wanting to use them in random ass conversations, you know, it's like I, I get that all the time. People know I, I, I went to school or in the business and they just come up in conversations and start giving terms and I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, but, but I enjoyed it, you know, okay. shout out to the artist, to the Villana, you know, Come on. Um, came up out of there, you know, in the 90s. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> and, uh, right. yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yes. the music was beautiful, be you know, alive. being down there, when I was down there, it was great, you know, mm -hmm. that's when... You know, the great LaFace records and, you know, mm -hmm. So So Death and all of mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. was coming. You know, I, I ended up going down there at the end of the era of the, you know, Jack the Rapper. Mm -hmm. You know, the mm -hmm. greatest music conference, you know, of all time. Mm -hmm. You know, when I felt like business was really getting done, I, I came on at the tail end of that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of my other brothers here, you know, I know he... He go way back with, with that stuff. But, um, you know, the e education on that, you know, it is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite classes on that was the entertainment psychology. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it taught me how to break things down beyond what I personally like. Mm -hmm. Come on, mm -hmm. come on. You know, I, I can look at things from a consumer point of view and I try and find out okay, what is it about this product that a consumer will like? What does this consumer look like? You know, what are their habits? You know, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it, it, it taught me how to look at the industry from a whole different perspective, mm -hmm. you know, so that's why I enjoy creating brands, you know, things like that. You so, know, I, I like filling gaps. The brands that you've created so far, just, let's just mention them. Mention some of the brands you've created thus far. Um, There's this a lot. <laughs> well, I guess created from scratch, mm -hmm. you know, Local Love Radio. Okay. Um, I created that, what was that, back in 2000. Mm -hmm. um, that's shortly after I got back from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I had seen in Atlanta mm -hmm. that was really making that scene do what it did, mm -hmm. um, Little John. Okay. Ooh, had a show mm -hmm. um, with uh, DJ Laura Cersei mm -hmm. um, back there and it was a small station mm -hmm. you know but all of the artists down there in Atlanta used to flock to that mm -hmm. you know they it was okay. like a four hour and it was on some community community station type okay. stuff you know and I, I got cool with him started going down there but that was a large reason that that area you know started getting a shine that was also a large reason why Hot 97 in New York decided it was a great idea to come down there and set up shop because of the success that Little John was having with the music he was already doing. So when I got home, I saw how much of a doggy dog stuff everything was, you know, and I'm like, you know what, we, we crabbing because we ain't got no outlet. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I started doing local love before what's next on the menu was mm -hmm. created. Mm -hmm. You know, on WJLB. Mm -hmm. um, I was doing that at WPON. It was mm -hmm. um, a AM radio station in Pontiac, and I was paying for my airtime. Mm -hmm. So I was paying to play Detroit, you know, area mm -hmm. artists um, because that's I, I wanted us to have an outlet. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I saw a need for it. You know, shortly after that, you know, the Zone Radio came on at Henry Ford Community College. Shout out to the Ridgex in D.C. They was doing their thing. And then shortly after that, um, what's next on the menu with uh, TJ and DDT. Um, yeah, I think they both was there at the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Yeah, so um, that was the local love. Okay. I got into Detroit rap from mm -hmm. there. Somebody okay. else had it beforehand. Mm -hmm. They um, pretty much ran it into the ground. Okay. Um, me and a partner grabbed it. Okay. You know, spent some time trying to bring that back up to respectability. Mm -hmm. um, 
You know, I spent a long time up on that for 10 years. Um, from that brand, mm -hmm. we did 2010, we did the Detroit People's Choice Music Awards. That was my first crack at award show. Mm -hmm. um, that went off great. We did that at Blondie's. It was a um, great event, successful mm -hmm. event. Okay. Um, you know, but I personally took so much of a beating from the scene you know, because I couldn't please everybody mm -hmm. trying to do an award show mm -hmm. that at mm -hmm. the time I, I wasn't mm -hmm. even really ready for all that, okay. you know, and mm -hmm. I, I had to take a seat back because all I was trying was to do something good. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And, mm -hmm. and it wasn't accepted well. And I, I didn't know how to handle that at the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, took a couple years off, came back, you know, had a new team. And then we created the um, Underground Hip Hop Awards. And this year, well, next year, 2019, because it's always done in January, mm -hmm. we'll be celebrating our fifth year. Come on, that's good. Wow. Doing it. Wow. So, good. you know, the cool wow. thing about that, um, mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, misconception is, you know, that it's the Detroit Underground Hip Hop Awards. Mm -hmm. And it's the Underground Hip Hop Awards. Detroit mm -hmm. is nowhere in the name. It was birthed in Detroit, mm -hmm. and Detroit is always going to be its home, mm -hmm. but the vision for it has always been 